Okay, so this is a quick video demonstration of a simple pop-up class that I've written for Gidaros Mobile. Uh, it's called BH Pop-up um, and is available under GitHub and I'll show you how to get it at the end of this video. It's intended to work in conjunction with the standard Gidaros Scene Manager. So it doesn't replace scenes, it just overlays a shield on top of them, uh, displaying another class, which is the pop-up. The best thing if I, is if I show you how it works. Um, we're now displaying the first screen and the first scene in the demo program. And what's going to happen when we touch this is it's going to load a pop-up class um, which will stay on the screen during a loading function. Uh, when the function has completed, then it will automatically call uh, the exit for the pop-up and dismiss it. So if I touch here, you'll notice the pop-up has come up. And when the loading is completed, then it dismisses itself. Now, in this particular case, the loading is just a stub function because the uh, scene actually loads very quickly. But you could lo use this to load uh, other resources uh, while the loading screen is displayed. Now, in this scene, we have uh, several objects. We have a uh, three animals, and each of them can are buttons which can be used to bring up um, another pop-up describing what the object is. So in this particular case, we don't automatically execute a function, but we call a particular pop-up class. And if I click on the, the bear here, you'll notice that a pop-up class called uh, animal pop-up will appear uh, with a description of the, uh, the, the particular animal. Now we've written this class as a subclass of BH pop-up. So we can do whatever we like in it. But you'll notice that um, the pop-up acts as a shield, so all of the, the background is uh, not touchable. And um, it's only when we uh, choose to dismiss the pop-up does the uh, background scene become re-enabled. And now you'll see that we touch here. And so that's basically it. That's, um, that's how you use it. The transitions on and off of the screen are very similar to the way the scene manager works. You basically provide a named function inside the uh, BH pop-up class to describe the transition. It does try to make an intelligent choice about the uh, entry and exit transitions. If you only supply an entry transition, then it will automatically try and supply the opposite transition for the exit. So, for example, um, you'll see here that the entry transition transition is over from bottom and the exit transition by default is uh, over to bottom. The BH pop-up class is available on GitHub. Um, it's part of a suite of cooperating classes that I've released um, and you do well to read the uh, readme notes because they describe how to set up a directory structure where all the various library modules will uh, cooperate correctly together. Um, in this particular case, you need to create a folder um, under your working directory uh, called library Bauhaus uh, BH pop-up. Um, but you'll also need to take some of the other um, Bauhaus libraries as well to make the demo work straight out of the box. Um, what you should do is you'll also need to take the Gidaros library, which contains uh, the scene manager, and you'll also need to take the uh, miscellaneous library, which contains uh, things like gtween and easing. Okay, so I hope that's been useful, and uh, let me know via my blog if, um, if you manage to use it in any projects.